So this is my main tech stack. And the first thing I use is uh, ChatGPT. And that's after reading the brief and understanding what the client wants. I use ChatGPT as an extension of my brain to do some research. And then I use Claude and Gemini for more ideation and analysis. And then when everything is clear, I use Figma to design the wireframes and high five design. I also use FigGem inside of Figma when I'm working with a team or when I'm designing user flows. And inside of Figma as well, I use some plugins to make my job easier. You can find in the description a link to a document that contains a list with all the plugins I use. And then after the design is complete, I use Webflow or Framer to do the development. I mainly use Webflow for development, but sometimes I use Framer. And Framer is not as established as Webflow, but it's a very nice tool to explore, okay? And then I use it very often for uh, prototyping, but I did not add that step here because I don't uh, do prototypes all the time, okay? Most of the times I, um, you know, go from design to development. I would like to invite you to apply to join the Web Designers Collective if you are not a member yet. It's a free web design community where we share high value content and you will also have the opportunity to connect with designers from around the world. Applying takes less than one minute. Just go to webdesignerscollective.com, click join group, answer three quick questions and apply. That's it. This is my secondary tech stack. I use Anytype and Trello for project management. I use Zoom for video calls. I use Photoshop for graphic design and then Google Drive for documents and storage, Gmail for all email communications, Calendly for call scheduling, Google Analytics for web analytics, and then Google Search Console for SEO, then Hotjar for web analytics as well, and then Canva when I have to design something quick and simple, Dropbox for storage, and it's helpful to use Dropbox, especially when working with uh, organizations that already use Dropbox, because it makes um, you know sharing files and stuff way easier. And then I use Slack for daily communications. Here are some tools I'm currently exploring and I would recommend you to do as well. Runway is an AI video generator, which is very interesting. And then Relium is an AI website builder, very useful, especially when uh, designing in Figma. Surfer is an SEO tool. Sora is an AI video generator as well, created by OpenAI. Bubble is a tool that helps you build uh, functional apps without having to write code. And the cursor basically helps you bring your designs to life, since it helps you generate the code to make the website functional. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you soon.